Arabian Night fell on the doll world. Today, Lalalu will bring you the magical East where old shabby dolls turn into princesses and genies. Let's start with the main character. Clean the face from makeup with nail polish remover. Paint black pupils and eyelids. We'll need to change the color of the eyes. Brown suits Aladdin better, doesn't it? Add eyebrows and paint the hair black. Coat the eyes with clear nail polish. Take stretchy fabric and cut it. Hot glue the edges and round the corners with scissors. Separate the pants and glue the side cuts. Bend the edges of a satin ribbon. Fasten with hot glue and put the belt on. Gold belt looks nice. It's glowing like coins. And I love coins. Make a vest from a wide ribbon. The light clay hat won't fall off while he's running away. Here's a patch on the pants. It looks like our slick and adorable guy is up to another adventure. <laughs> My friend and I need to eat, and the Agrabah Market is the best place for it. Well, Abu, today we are hunting for lunch. Abu, do you see that man with peaches? Come on, buddy, distract him, and I'll take care of the rest. And now we leave faster. Oops. Look at the watermelons this lady is selling. It will be enough for half of the day for us both. Take a peach, Abu. I'll distract her, and you know what to do. And while Aladdin is asking the lady if the watermelon is ripe and where is it from, Abu sneakily picks one up with his tail. <laughs> hey, yay, we are having a feast today. This doll with its hair kinda looks like a boo, but you can't see a monkey in it now. Wipe the dust off the hair. Make a monkey hairstyle from light clay. And a pair of ears while we're at it. Make the fur on the head and ears brown. Also color the tail and the whole body. We'll make a purple cap with a red bottom. Sketch out the vest with paint. Color the muscle with an almost dry brush, especially over the eyes. And now glue on the fabric vest. We get a cute monkey, which is Aladdin's loyal friend. This doll has been sad because of her hair, but that's all right, she'll be Princess Jasmine soon. Wipe the makeup off with acetone and add new lipstick. I always wanted to have colored lenses. Brown eyes are so beautiful. So you like doubt. <laughs> what should we do with the hair? Cut off the buns with scissors. Cover the holes you got with hot glue. Coat the head with black acrylic paint. Cut a wide ribbon into pieces. These will be strands. Undo them thread after thread. Leave the beginning intact. Glue on the strands towards the face. Gradually add volume. Wow! There you go! Now the hair ties aren't big enough for it. Let's make a headband for Jasmine. Wrap fabric around a piece of floral wire and fasten it with hot glue. Try it on and decorate with a rhinestone in the center. How beautiful! Will you sew me an outfit from the same fabric? We'll do anything for Jasmine. Make four pieces. Bend the edges on one and hot glue them. We got a top. Let's add straps to it. We can fasten it. And we make wide pants from the biggest piece. Sew the edges. Separate the pants and sew each of them separately. Pull the bottom with a stitch so the pants emphasize the ankles. Make the top more narrow too. Now turn it right side out and pick out a lacy belt. Put hoop earrings in the ears. <laughs> Cut a necklace from gold tulle. But even diamonds and gold can't overshadow the beauty of the princess. Wow! The Sultan's palace is the pride of all of Agrabah. Now there's nothing more majestic in the city. But the princess doesn't like her home. Huh, I'm so 
so sad and bored locked up in here. My father protects me like a crystal vase. Tiger Raja, buddy, let's run away from here and see the city. And the princess manages to sneakily run away because she knows every corner of the palace. Aladdin and Abu meet a girl on their way. Aladdin is shocked that this is the princess in front of him and he decided that they will be together no matter what. But Vizier Jafar had his own plans. He met a few of his friends and gave them a task. They had to get a lamp from a cave. And Aladdin was the only one who could do it because he had a kind heart. The gold light of the lamp attracts the boy. What's going on? I only touched it. But the genie is already out. And this doll suffered the most. She doesn't have legs or hair. But Genie can easily do without it. Wipe the makeup off and coat the whole head and the body with blue paint. Mix blue and white light clay. Wrap the bottom of the body in it and wrap up a Genie tail into a spiral. Cover the joint with a red clay belt. Add eyes with white acrylic paint and black pupils. Paint eyelids and eyebrows. Our genie kinda looks astonished, but he has a bright smile. Make a beard from light clay. Add touches with acrylic paint. And add a tail. Decorate it with a hair tie and put gold bracelets on the arms. Make ears from light clay. Coat them with acrylic paint so we have the same color and texture. And the final touch, stick in a hoop earring. Here I am, guys. I'm ready to become your best friend. Three wishes. Remember, only three. And no murders, falling in love, and resurrection. We are making a flying carpet. Cut a sheet of purple foam paper into two identical parts. Put one piece away. Apply hot glue to the other one and put on wire. Attach four pieces like that. This way the carpet will be bendy. Apply hot glue to each side and wrap them with gold satin ribbon. Burn the ends that are sticking out. Cut four identical pieces off a curtain tassel. Tie with a thicker cord and cut off the edge as though it's a pom-pom. Decorate each corner of the carpet with a luxurious tassel and create an eastern pattern with gold acrylic paint. Add a few swirls with blue paint. Now the loyal flying carpet is ready to go through deserts and storms. We just have to make the main villain from this doll. Wipe the makeup off with nail polish remover and create a new face. Trace the eyes with black paint. Add brown shades on eyelids and lower. The arched eyebrows make it look even more similar. Adjust the shape of the face and darken the cheekbones. Paint a black beard and add a clay beard at the bottom. We are done with the face. Now cut off the buns with scissors. Make the headpiece of the vizier. Cut a piece out of black foam paper. Wrap it up and hot glue the edges. Add a rectangular piece of red foam paper from the inside and glue it. Separately make a red feather. It'll hide the joint. Attach a rhinestone in the very center of the forehead and decorate it with a gold pattern. <laughs> Shape a few pieces of foam paper. Bend and make sleeves. Wrap the bottom part of the body in a black piece. Add a contrasting red bell. Then make a cape. Join two rectangular pieces of foam paper, red and black. Now there's a cape behind the villain's back. Make a stick from a wooden skewer and clay. Now we just have to paint it gold. Ruby eyes of the cobra are open wide all day and night. The parrot from an old toy flies to Jafar. However, his loyal partner Iago is way too talkative and loves gold. The princess keeps thinking about Aladdin since the time she ran away from the palace. Huh, I'm so tired of you, Jafar. You are old. Look into a mirror. I'll never marry you. Where did this...
wind come from? That's Aladdin on a magic carpet. Jasmine, I came back for you. Hurry up, jump on. Soon they both ruled Agrabah and were very happy. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up if you liked our magical fairy tale. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. Lalalu has a lot of magical stories and awesome doll DIYs.